files. You've got one file each. Okay. Now, the nails aren't overly long. Okay. Uh, I'm naughty. You're neat. Um, we're just all we're going to do is just file the top, so it's just nice and smooth, and there's no rough edges. All right. And what we do with the nails is we start. See, bitch, come over, darling. Just come underneath, uh, Laura. Come this way. We're going to file from the side into the middle. Okay. From the side into the middle, like that. And then what we tend to do, if there's a free edge, we call it. So that's the bit over the end of the finger. We just bevel the end, like that. So just make sure you put your finger over it, that's what, and just see if there's any rough edges. Okay, do the next one. So we go from little finger to little finger. Okay. Not very much better. No, you're fine. <laughs> We're just evening them out at the moment. Not going to take them down. All we're doing is evening them out and taking any rough edges. So can you see what I'm doing, girls? So from the outer corner to the middle. Why do you think I'm not going back? The main reason is so you don't fray the nail. So what happens is, you know when you file, what it can do if you seesaw, is it opens up the end of the nail plate so it becomes more fragile and then it can break. So this way we're being as kind as we can but still taking the neck down and shaping it. Okay, but you know what I've done? I've been a bit naughty because I've not said to Rachel, what shape would you like? Now, it's difficult because the nails are short, but if I had someone with long nails, okay, I would say to them, well, what shape would you like to create from a nail? Point, yeah, you do have, we've got one of our hairdressing lecturers who's got very pointed nails, very sort of stiletto looking nails, because it looks more effective on her hands. So what we tend to do, girls, and I'll show you, I'll tell you into a little bit of a secret here. See the base of the nail, you've got a curve, yeah? Really, what you should do, is you should look at matching the free edge with the curve. So we've got two products here. You've got your back bone, which is your base coat, and you've got your top coat, okay? So your base coat we're going to use first. <coughs> so why do you think you might use a bit can be longer lasting cotton? So it keeps your varnish staying on for a lot longer, okay? So it stops it from chipping. And it stops it from staying on. Okay, so we do this in a special way now, ladies. So you hold your bottle like that in the well of your hand, okay? So you use your thumb and you put your little finger to hold it. Okay, this is a bit that gets people a bit, it's a bit tricky. And then that leaves your thumb and your first finger to grip the finger. So don't go all the way up, yeah, got that one. What else? What do you think product does to the skin? If you get product on the skin? Does it stay on the skin? And it, like it sticks to the skin? It does, it, it stays on and it sticks. <coughs> what else? What else do you get from that, do you think? If you've got product that stays on and it sticks? Well done, Phoebe. Yeah, you might get a allergic reaction. So that, what we call that is, is a contraaction, we call it. Something we don't want to happen. But the reason for that is quite right. <coughs> it's like a contraction because if you get product on the skin, it dries the skin. So it might make it go cracked and, and it's not going to be very good for the client. So good answers, girls. I like it. <laughs> right, so three quarters of the way up. Now I'm going to go a bit faster on this hand. Make sure you've got too much on your brush because it's not about making it look glossy. What you're trying to do is feed this product into the nail and it's like a base, so it's, a sit, it's for the rest of the product to sit on. So, nails are short and my client says to me that she does a lot of cleaning up and typing and various things like that. <coughs> so we're not going to use anything that's too bright, is that okay? Yeah. So we're going to use something like a pinky colour, yeah? It'll look nice. Now with these varnishers, a lot of the time you roll them, okay, just to mix the pigment on, okay? Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. shortish as my long hair. Mm -hmm. You're the longer ones, aren't we? So I think what we'll do, right, you can do one hand, you can do the other. Okay, so we do one hand each, and then Rebecca, you can remember to do four coats, right? So we're doing one down the middle, 
one down one side, one down the other, as much as you can, and then one down. down. And take it, I know it, you covering most of it already with the first stroke. Just we can go back to the hand that I started with, because that will be dry. So remember to do a full stroke, just don't tap it. That's it. That's it, okay. Hold on, move on. an impression because they've got a gel on or an acrylic. Is it an acrylic or a gel? A gel. A gel. <coughs> so just hold your file a bit through the back. Ah, that's better. Do you do, do, you do those sort of nails here? We do. Thank you. 